this one this one was really good so this one was basically unlucky versus heaven all the way through oh my gosh this one was so much fun to watch i wish i had gotten to cast it but we were like the nice thing about when we weren't casting is we, there was a there were like six tvs over on the side with all of the different spectator views and so we got to watch like all the players at the same time and most of the time they just had the povs for heaven and unlucky so we just watched them go back and forth that was big from shut up shut up played really well in this one too but it was definitely heaven with a I didn't realize that he missed all of those. Um, Q9 is laggy. I mean, maybe. I I couldn't really tell that from their POV. They could have been. I, I wish that Q9 players could use Twitter so that I could, like, know what was actually going on from their POVs. Like, obviously, all the players always talk about whatever their experience is in that stage of the competition, and... Because of uh, communism, we don't get to know that. Overall, Shut Up and Heaven performed the best. Shut Up was good, but it, he wasn't quite as good as Heaven. I, I said this before, but I think... I think Unlucky and Heaven, no question, two of the top three snipers in the world. Shut Up played exceptionally well. He improved much. Yeah, he definitely improved a lot. That's true. That's true. Everybody hates on Q9. I, I think they misremember the video. There was only one guy on Q9 that trash talked. Everybody else in the video was like super nice and talking about how great their team chemistry was. Like if y'all want to hate on Q9, just hate on the one guy that trash talked because that's all it was. Um, and this player from heaven to play his life right here. Backs up. I think they clutch this, right? I'm pretty sure that they do. This is, yeah. I think they peaked that angle. I'm a little bit surprised that people... Yeah, 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 because shit up gets him right there and then heaven. That that sniper duo, super, super lethal. I was super impressed that Blacklist was able to win an S&D with those two playing like that. I felt so bad for heaven in the last game. Crazy how much work Vox and Blacklist put in. Yep, very true. Is it true that your calling card will soon be the rarest because Ferg and Hawk's bundles contain calling cards, but yours doesn't? What bundle? I don't, uh, don't know what you're referencing. React to Azeris on Q9. I'll, uh, after we're done with the VOD review, I'll look at, like, memes and stuff. What do you think about Iferg Brazil team's controversy? It's getting heated. Is it getting heated? I literally haven't seen anybody... I. If it's getting heated, then it's only because Brazilian YouTubers are trying to impression farm because Ferg literally didn't do a single thing wrong. <laughs> like, Ferg was trash talking all the teams. It's anybody who's crying xenophobia about Ferg saying that a guy with a thousand Twitter followers doesn't have enough money. To bet thirty thousand dollars on a one v one, like you just, you're just reaching. Gosh, unlucky, so good. Yeah, four already. I think he gets this one too. Oh my gosh, crazy. Um, now that I see it, Land did the exact same thing that Ferg did. No, Ferg trash talked every region for his entire stream. People just nitpick that one clip and then impression farm the mess out of it. Land, land trash talked an entire region. The, not, not the same thing at all. <laughs> Thoughts on China response? I mean, we knew that was going to be the, the biggest opportunity for other teams to capitalize. I'm going to have to go back. Like, obviously, we're doing a whole VOD review right here, so... I, I'm probably going to, like, try to pay attention to the matches that I felt like were the most impressive. This is one that I definitely felt like both teams gave it their all. That, the main reason I wanted to watch this one is because it's just heaven versus unlucky all the way through, and it's just a freaking sniper clinic. Lan should get banned from everywhere for racism. Um... I mean, he explained that he was obviously talking about the... 
What? He didn't take the shot? He, he explained that he wasn't talking about the whole of India and that he didn't mean what he said and he was only... Yeah, that side from Unlucky over that head he's disgusting. Like, obviously, he was just talking about... He was trash-talking the Indian teams that performed in Stage 5. What up, Marshy? Marshy, can, can you uh, can you elaborate on which teams playing for who and leak all the rosters for me? That'd be good. If you had to pick two players from Western, two players from Eastern that impressed you, which players would it be? I mean, yeah, you got to say Heaven for Almighty, even though they didn't win. No question, he was an absolute monster. I, I feel like, for me, I wouldn't even put a Blacklist player just because so much of their success was predicated on how good their teamwork was. Like, that's how impressive it was that they won the whole thing, that there's not one player I can point out and like, man, he just carried his team so hard. Skurd was good, but he wasn't necessarily always the best in s and Um... What's the sniper's name? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Ken, Kenzie? Ken, Kenshi? Kenshi? Was that his name? Like, both of those guys were really good at different points in the competition. So I wouldn't say if I was going to pick two players from East, I don't think I'd pick anybody from Blacklist just because it was their teamwork that was the most impressive thing. I would say probably Heaven and Unlucky if I had to pick two. If I was going to go West... Yo. Oh. If I was going to go west, I would probably go Drari. And... Woo! Oh, if he had hit that, that probably would have turned the ties of the game. Actually, they're winning right now, aren't they? I didn't even realize. Envy? No, not Envy. Envy had, like, one big game. There's no question Band was more consistent throughout the entirety of it. I, I'd probably go Band. Especially given how much Band has improved throughout the last year. I'd probably go Drari and Band. Especially the fact that Band wasn't even on Tribe coming into the year. And it wasn't until the Nova roster got sold to them. Gosh. Just... Heaven versus Unlucky. <laughs> oh, shut up. Did he call out right there? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. His teammate was already dead. Okay. Yeah, maybe not the best spot to jump down, especially if his teammate just died right there. I guess he had died a little bit. Yeah, he died in a different spot. Okay. Band and Jesus are the best in Stage 5. No, Drari was... Jesus can save you was good, but Drari was definitely the more impressive player. Like, he hard carried stamina. All these people crying about people saying stuff about the region. Have you not seen EU versus NA and NA versus LATAM? I think it was more that Lan just called the entire region trash. <laughs> I think that was the main thing. Gosh. They just had no counter for Heaven. And part of it is that Unlucky and Heaven were playing different angles the entire way through. Like, there weren't a whole lot of Heaven versus Unlucky snipes. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit just because I want to hear Come out on top as what the, they're talking the about. Um... Two, but I think they will be able to do just sight. that as it's going to be a 5v1. It's up to Unlucky to show us what he's all about, but he can't win that battle. And it, it will this be one, I love Unlucky's smile. Like, he just looks like the happiest guy, you know? I'd be fine if they just kept it on his face cam the entire time. His timing just wasn't in his favor. Almighty, though, in that round, definitely looking like the team we expected to see as we flip sides. Now, Almighty is going to be on the defense. Bomb gonna be in the hand of Cast 12 for Vox. Um, like cool is Heaven OP? For sure. With the sniper and Lucky trying to trade it out I, I did smoke. feel bad for Almighty. No like, obviously, it came down to not making it out of the winner's bracket, but they, uh, how did, how did he not see that? How is he alive? What? I didn't realize that. How? For the kills all going in favor of Almighty. How did he stay alive that long? Here with the sniper. We know he can oh, this is a rough spot. Yeah, and he doesn't know Orphan J is right behind it. Oh, oh that snipe! I forgot about that snipe!
swipe with the club. Oh my gosh! Hand. Oh, he that that was shot, one of the nasty for, flicks of the entire the tournament. It is having on the flank able to take him out. Oh and man! Goes up four to two that was such a disgusting this flick. Is, I think a must-win map for them. They don't want to find themselves now zero to two against these <sighs> underdogs who have proven time and time again that they may be the big dogs. In Bobby's just not going to reply. Yeah, it's not like I'm trying to reply to eight hundred people simultaneously or anything. He'll cut back towards mid map, knowing that he could possibly get another headshot too. This yeah, for real. Shots, but Just absolutely filthy. And she's one v three was the best in the whole tourney. It's all my yeah, that might have been the best play. I'm not gonna lie. Works his way through kitchen. The aggressiveness out of heaven with the sniper is just absolutely That terrifying. might have been I can't even what that was day two, right? Now they are a man up and they have so much information Air peer underrated. Yeah, they're definitely underrated coming into it. Such good positions the time I mean fairly so because they were they I don't think they won a map in mobile mayhem before they dropped out. Aggressive when you're outside of Almighty on defense currently. The bomb still making its way over towards the A site. Nobody's really that play was so unexpected. Get it down for free. I mean, yeah, usually one v threes are pretty unexpected. Be it here anytime soon, though. Fifty six seconds on the clock. Cast and Beast are going to be the closest here. Is there? Hopefully, going to go for the left. Can we uh? Can we get a nerf to the thumper so I don't have to watch it in competitive anymore? I would greatly appreciate that. Shut up. So I can stop watching pro players kill themselves. Oh my gosh. Like were you surprised seeing um, how Japanese teams did, performed considering most of us thought they were going to get smoked? Yeah, I already CEO. talked about that. Flash is cocked. Oh, past server release weapon adjustments for next season? Nice. So that's going to allow him to move down those stairs just a bit. 23 Flash seconds what? on the clock. Um, Flash is cocked. <laughs> ARP always plays what? Mobile Mayhem on ADMS. <laughs> We're gonna move past that. 13 seconds on that the clock. Two v three. AMT Heaven finds one, but they won't have enough time to defuse here. Fox just needs to stay alive. Cash, you just need to stay alive. I don't think they. Yeah, that was a really bad shell. Oh, they didn't have enough time anyway. That was actually a good shell. I take it back. I'm wrong. What about Incendio? Incendio is good. Definitely a smart player. Almighty. His his it's stats headed weren't headed really all that impressive most of the way through. He had so some far. good games. He's been unlucky on the other end that's been matching his energy, but as we kick off this Any round, thoughts on NYSL not making the finals? That is unfortunate. With an aggressive they had matchups that they should have done better in. And I felt bad that it ended up being a 3-0 when they lost the domination with a triple cap in play, but sometimes that's just how it goes. He has gone here almost every defensive round and gotten that free pick on the cross. I, I, I legitimately, I think that was the only uh, game that went to time for the entire tournament. Match point in the search and destroy bomb is out on B side. Unlucky is going to be the closest there. Patch notes out. I know, guys. I'll take a look. Kale with the 13 month Risa. Appreciate it, guys. What do you think of Ferg versus Bobby Sub's battle? Uh, now that I'm home, it's game um, over. Locked in. About, uh, any nades coming through Might as well already you know, give me my million subscriber play, you know? Six man on the map, but I, I gave him a nice little two-week break where I had to go do some casting work, but covered, now that we're back, bombs down content is going to be S tier every single day. Unlucky. Again. We'll find, shut up. Get this dude a teammate. But he needs at least one more. Get this hey, dude a freaking teammate. They didn't nerf any metaguns. Wait, so it's still going to be type 25? I mean, type 25 is like one of the least annoying metas, but still it's all five-man type 25s in every single game. And probably the only reason I'm not annoyed by it yet is because I haven't played ranked at all this season. I'm not even legendary. Uh, Poor uh, Unlucky. Unlucky with how his teammates played in this one. HS nerf? Wait, like HS the what? There's two different HS's. HS Eastern nerf? Heaven used the type or the M13 and response, it would have made a bigger difference. I, yeah, I will I will say it felt like a little bit of an ego thing that he stuck with the AS Val all the way through and didn't try a single other gun in response. 
and defend his I get that it's a comfort weapon, but when there's other guns that are just statistically better, that and also why not use the SKS? Why not use the SKS? Like give it a try at least, you know? Such a big statistical advantage over the. They win this round, right? They're in a three v five. You can wall bank that? Oh gosh. Oh. He got him off the the head glitch on basketball. They win this. Wow. Suddenly, much more doable for them in a three v three. A minute to put. I didn't realize they were down to a five three. The the fact that they come back, <laughs> Heaven. Might find a free uh, the here. fact that Heaven he threw the 20 bomb made, made me so sad. Unlucky, he was crouched in. I didn't fully comprehend what was happening on that one. I must have missed that POV because I was watching the screens on the side. All right, it's gonna be a post plant situation oh, for Vox. Gosh. But if we know anything, is it's that, that poor guy uh, just got no help really in this game. Throughout this map so you can far, see the thumper shot, shot up in the sky. <laughs> Unlucky, looking for anything, he will be able to find one player. His teammate behind this, him. This one v two. This one v two. Oh my gosh, that shot over the head glitch. Disgusting. So mighty versus blacklist intense. Oh, for sure, especially the last one. Heaven's eighteen and three. You got three players on your team that are double negative or worse, and you were up five three. Another round on the board, four to five. Crazy. Absolutely absurd how good these two are truck side, they could get a free plant once again i can't even remember what happened i i remember it getting all down to unlucky at the end that's all i really remember about this uh you know kind of heard box down towards that court side a site and it's been obviously you're gonna play this crazy crazy passive but as, as we'll i know see, he stays unlucky, alive right here a few shots in his area. obviously and, there's and gonna there's be trophies i'm surprised more teams didn't run more trophies Especially given that one trophy counters two tacticals, so it makes tactician like not obsolete, but a lot less effective. Because there were a lot, a lot of players running tactician. That seemed like the go-to for most of the teams, except for the people running trophies. They know that there's a high possibility that Vox may try to start putting. Oh, he's running tactician trophies. That one, that's one that's like. I get it to a certain extent. He gets shot in the back here, I think. Oh, he gets taken out by a death. Yeah, that that opener. They waited too long to go for something right here. This A site. You need to start playing more aggressive and start hindering and lucky with trying to get that first pick. Yeah, this is just unfortunate. They waited too long to push in. This is what uh, Blacklist did in a lot of their round 11. You get the bomb down, but now you're a man down. With Almighty going for the retake and kitchen this should be around under their belt as long as they, they just end up getting picked apart lucky is going to drop all the way back and take a far angle multiple players here in kitchen it, that's a if big each one wins he that 1v1 i think vox probably Couldn't wins this triple, i think if each end wins the 1v1 right there the that was for the 20 Go bomb for heaven and he's just like he's running in circles around him missing his shots Shut up, <laughs> with the j358 i think if each wins the 1v1 vox takes the game